Howdy folks, this is Big Sam. If you've ever looked at a modern firearm in the muzzle, you might have seen these weird splotches of this copper colored in the rifling. Let's zoom in a little bit so I can show you better. Right here. See that right there? What is that? Well, in fact, that's actually remnants of the copper jacket of the bullet as it engages with the rifling. So that's a good sign that means you're getting positive engagement with the rifling and you're getting a good spin on that projectile, which is going to lead potentially to good accuracy. But have you ever wondered what um, that all of that friction and process does to the bullet? Does it leave a mark on the bullet? Well, let's take a look at that. All right, so here we have a cartridge. This part up here with the copper jacket is the, is the bullet, the projectile, right? And it's seated in here. And when, you've, when you fire this and you hit the primer and it ignites, the bullet is going to go flying out of the case here down through the barrel. And it's going to leave that residue that we just saw. But what, what does the grooves of the rifling, what do, what do those leave from a marks standpoint on the bullet? Well, the bullet's actually going to end up looking something like this. Now, this is kind of interesting. So this is an intact bullet that has been fired. And we can see here it has these cool grooves from the rifling left on it. So you can see this is where it's engaging. And this is why we were seeing the remnants of the residue because, in fact, it was engaging with the rifling. So this is pretty cool. But now one of the interesting things you can see here is that in fact, we're not actually getting all that much engagement from a surface area perspective. Only about that much, right? And it kind of makes sense if you look at the diameter, right? Because up past this point, the diameter gets smaller. And behind this point, the diameter gets smaller. You have a little bit of a boat tail there, which is going to help us in wind resistance. Um, but I don't get to see this too often because you, usually when you fire a bullet, you either don't find it or it ends up deforming and hitting something. So it's kind of cool to find a bullet that's totally intact where you can see the remnants of what the rifling left on it. Now, that's pretty interesting. And we can see here we had really good engagement. So this was putting a wicked spin on this bullet. So that's pretty cool. So hope you guys got to get something out of this video. I, again, I don't get to see bullets like this very often, so I thought it'd be cool to share it with you guys. Let me know if y'all got any prayer requests, and we'll see you next time.